All right, everybody, welcome back to Life is Strange. I think the first thing I'm going to do here is turn this down a scoosh. Turn the music down. Although that soundtrack is pretty nice. Leave that voice up. We'll turn sound effects down a little bit. And let's get right back into it. We ended off right here. Pushed out into the school courtyard. Rachel Amber. Oh. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Mm, missing from Arcadia Bay. God, 2013. That was freaking wild, man. Tattoo on calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Alright, well. I wonder what I'm really supposed to be doing here now. I already looked at that. Do I want to talk to this lady? Hi, Miss Grant. Let's talk to her. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? I mean, yeah, why not? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Matson, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. Amen. Um, David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. All right. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you know a lot. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. Mm. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Well. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yeah. Yeah, sign it. Sign it. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Ooh. Playing favorites. Nice. I don't care if it has consequences. Am I supposed to wander around here? Do we talk to these people? Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Let's talk to her. Hey there, she Stella. Has to stay. Hey, I know has you. To say. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? Yeah. I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher, and I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Ooh, Screw Oregon. The East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious That's galleries that from. Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. <laughs> Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If, if Victoria wasn't all over him, like I would place. definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. Oh, juicy. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clique. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. Oh. Oh. Whoop. Let's open the journal. Hello. Okay. Okay. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Uh. Do I want to go this way? Um, Monday. Na, 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 bathroom, didn't want to mention the girl or my new rewind abilities for obvious reasons. I wouldn't know how to tell him without making me look crazy. Um, okay, that's not really what I'm after here. Uh, that's not, I don't know where I'm supposed to go read more about that in a minute. Am I going this way? Oh, 
Signage. Parking. Dormitories. <laughs> My natural sense of direction is wonderful, isn't it? Look at all these birds. It's a cute bird. Yeah, let's go to the dorms. Need to grab my flash drive. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah, brah. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are way too enthusiastic about throwing that football. <laughs> bring it, brah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Do I go in this way? Guess we'll find out. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. That was rude. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. Oh? The Daguerrean processor. Sweet. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> I guess I'm not supposed to go Since in that way. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, Ooh. why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, yeah, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to... I could hmm. crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Is there anything I can do in here? <laughs> this main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. That did not work. Awesome. Let's see here. Is there anything else no. I can do? Can I do can I do anything? I don't know that oh. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Now how do we knock that sucker down? Nice, the football bro. boys. Talk to this guy. Yeah. Can I? Nope. Can't talk to that dude. Hmm. Awesome. Wonder if we can talk to this un. No. 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 Can't. Can't talk to him. Ugh. Sweet. Guess not. What is that? Yeah, I know. I need to figure this out. Samuel is way too close. Keep going, buddy. All right. Okay, let's see if this works. Stand back and watch the masterpiece come together. Hang like right there. We'll see what. Oh, wait. Son of a biscuit. I don't Sweet. think that's going to work that way. I think they need to be standing up. We'll see. No. Come on, man. I know you're an older gentleman, but you can get up that ladder a little bit faster than that. Just... 
Bloop. Close, but no cigar. Dang it. They have to be right under the they bucket. They do have to be standing up. Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. Quick, quick, quick. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yep. Yeah, yeah, skip that. All right. Now. Now for it to come together. No way! No fucking way, Victoria. Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no. Yeah. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. That was rude. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Yeah. Oh, how unfortunate. Can I go inside now? Awesome. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I Comforter. am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there will be another. Can I go inside, well, please? you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. You're welcome, mean lady. I hope those sluts now? get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. Well, thank that you. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Hey, she's letting me in. No. <laughs> Victoria yeah, probably let me in. Plays. Yeah, but you know, we're gonna be nice. We'll leave it be. It's okay. I like the decisions that we made there. Uh okay, I gotta look for my room. Taylor is a slave. Red rum. Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. Read this week's edition of the Black Hole Totem. Stop on Bigfoots. Bathroom fire alarm. That's good to know. We'll bang for Jesus. <laughs> we'll bang for Jesus. Nice chucks, girl. Mm, the guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. Um, let's look at the sticky note. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Ew. Okay, so we gotta go Great. find her. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Okay, that's fine. Hello, mother. My honey, your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior, that you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home even if you are all grown up now, but you are there to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you. XXOO Mummy. Alright. So You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hi, Juliet. This is so stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. Well. What did you she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ooh. Ouch. Spicy. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You, you never talk. Just sprint. zone out with your camera. Oh, well, yeah. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? I don't know. Hold on. Oh, she's not in here. Baloney. Maybe somebody else can give me a clue. 
Dun, dun, dun. No. Son of a biscuit. Don't think any of these are going to help me. Hmm. I am probably just going to have to guess this one and get it horribly wrong. Unless by some miracle I get it right. Um, let's go Patson. Juliet Pats... Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, Juliet Watson. Okay, okay. We'll do that. Hey, Juliet. Is oh yes, Max. What I've locked Dana. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Ew. If you don't let me out, I will How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Okay, let's find Victoria's room then, I suppose. If we can. There's toilet paper here. I can draw on this one. What am I drawing? Peace sign. I like the wood will bang for Jesus better. Creeping in. Let's see what we got. Maybe on the computer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. How, how does one print it? Oh, there we go. Take that. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Should have probably read it, but you know. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Walk faster. Juliet, read this. Horse. Gotcha. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Ooh, Max. Laundry. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. Hmm. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Good, I need that. Oh, am I supposed to come in? Almost yeah. done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Take that. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay, later, nerd. Yeah, I'm coming, dude. Good gravy, dude. Yes, leave. Get your flash drive back. Alright, now do I go back this way? Yeah, I think that just wraps Fuck around right shit. here. Ooh. Ow! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. A 
Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. <laughs> yeah. This action will have consequences. Not bad ones against me, I'd assume. Okay, so that's just back to the dorms. I think I gotta go back this way. Find whatever parking lot Warren Man is in. Oh. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. All right, let's go talk to this chick. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Mm. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. I wonder if I keep the hey, photo if I do why this. why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. This dude's not nice. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Oh, hopefully that does me a little bit better. I felt like an everyday hero. I probably should have listened to that. <laughs> All right, time to find Warren. What's up, dude? I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Yeah. Max, get your ass over here. I'm coming, child boy. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. <laughs> 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez. You're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. No fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Mm -hmm. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? <laughs> if I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Hmm. Do I talk to him? Yeah, let's do it. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. Hmm. 
for reals, Warren. This is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me, worry about yourself. Do not analyze me, I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! <sighs> Get in the frickin' truck. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody messes with me! Nobody! Alright. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. <laughs> I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. All right, guys. Well, we're winding down to the end of this recording. I hate to stop it right in the middle of a cutscene, but, you know, it is what it is. But I will see y'all in the next one. Like, subscribe, maybe throw some comments down if you enjoy the videos. And we'll see y'all in the next one.